So back when I first started guitar, I didn't really care about pick gauges at all. I would just get what I could get. Like if my friend had an extra pick, he would lend it to me or just give it to me. Or if I went to the guitar store, I would just choose whatever pick looked the coolest. Back then we only had a few choices though. So I would play these Fender picks and they were either these speckle looking picks that were blue, red, and white, which I love those the most. Or we also had these uh, semi-transparent brown picks that looked sort of 60s, 70s-ish. And uh, I didn't like those as much, but it was really about the aesthetic back then for me. I didn't realize how much the gauge of the pick can impact your learning and your sound. So today I just wanted to answer a few questions I've been getting about what should I use? I play acoustic or I play electric. I want to shred. What gauge do you recommend? And uh, I remember one time I was going to go meet a friend and we were just going to jam a little bit. When I got to his house though, I realized I forgot my picks. And at the time I was using mostly the medium gauge picks and I could play pretty fast, you know, and I was doing Metallica songs and solos and stuff like that. And all he had were extra light picks. So he handed me one. He's like, don't worry, I got picks. Here you go. And I started to try to play a solo. And I remember feeling so embarrassed because I couldn't pull off anything. I just felt like I was starting all over again. And so that night I had sort of a, a moment where I was thinking, you know, if that made that much of a difference and I play medium picks, what would happen if I went to heavier picks? Would I get even better? because I just equated that going light made me worse uh, and getting heavier would make me better. So I started to experiment and I got heavier and heavier and then I heard a couple interviews with guitar players where they say, yeah, the, the better you get a guitar, as far as electric guitar goes, uh, the heavier pick you're gonna wanna use. But over time I learned that there's nuance within that as well. It's not just black or white. So today I wanna go over the advantages and disadvantages of the sizes of the picks that you may choose and uh, depending on if you play electric or acoustic, it's gonna make a difference, all right? So first off, I eventually got into Dunlop picks. They're color-coded, which is great because if you get, let's say, a red pick, you're always gonna know that it's gonna be the extra light gauge. If the markings rub off of it, you're not gonna have to guess on what gauge it is or have to bend it. Uh, you're just gonna know automatically. So if you have to hurry up and run out the door and you have to grab a few picks, you're gonna know which gauges you're grabbing just from the colors, it's kinda nice. So I'm gonna group these in twos, okay? So we're gonna start off with the red and the orange Dunlop picks. This is gonna be 0.5 and 0.6 millimeters. So this is probably the size pick that that guy had given me to play with. And as I play this guitar with it today, I'm having bad flashbacks a little bit because even if I play just like, it's not terrible, but it feels like I, I'm not really connecting with the strings at all. It's that floppiness that I don't like when I'm trying to play individual notes or if I was playing like power chords. I'm used to feeling more attack when I play, which gives me that heavy feeling when I wanna play rock songs. Uh, but when I do that with a light pick, I just feel unbalanced. It's like trying to walk on ice or something. Same with the orange pick. It's not as bad, but still there's so much flexibility as I play that it's almost like I'm waiting for the pick to come back so I can play the next note. So I'm really, tr I'm really craving that feeling of a solid pick so that I, Every time I play, I know what to expect. There's certainty when I play. This feels very uncertain to me. Like if you put me on stage and I had to play a whole show with this pick, I think I'd be sweating a little bit because I'd be like, please, please work. Yeah, I can feel the pick flexing and I feel like it's nicking the other strings around it, which I don't know, I just don't like that feeling at all. Now the story changes when you pick up an acoustic guitar because I've been in the studio before with the wrong picks on an acoustic guitar and I had to strum some songs and it ended up sounding like garbage because I was using too heavy a picks. So where light picks really come into play for me, especially these red and orange gauges, is when I'm strumming songs on an acoustic guitar. And listen how nice this can sound. See, now I want that flexibility because I want the pick to sort of swipe through the strings like that with a little bit of uh, flexibility. It gives them like this weird pop. It's kind of nice because the pick contributes to the sound and the tone. Versus the heaviest pick I have, listen to this. See, it gets dull sounding a little bit. This is also a very um, broken in pick, but it gets dull and it feels like it's going clunk, 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 clunk as it goes across the strings. Most of the time when I play acoustic, if I'm doing just strumming, I'll go to the red pick. There's gonna be a little bit of picking, I'll go to the thicker side of things. So the orange still isn't as thick as I want it to be to do individual picking, but it's great for like a mixture of both. 
So you still get that nice skinny pick sound, and then you can have enough attack for single notes as well. So the orange and the red are great in the studio for me whenever I play acoustic guitar, I love it. The next color grouping we have are the yellow and the green. This green pick has been used so much you can see the Dunlop logo is like rubbed off. So I used these probably the longest in my development. And like I said, it wasn't until I had that awakening moment when I tried to play with those light picks in front of my friend that I decided to go above and beyond these. But these are great for beginners who are kind of unsure what direction they want to go. Sometimes you start guitar and you think you want to be a lead guitar player, play rock or whatever. Then later you realize, oh, you know what? I just have fun strumming an acoustic. So these are in the middle enough to where you can go either way afterwards. You're not going to be stuck in one place. So if I take a yellow now, for electric, I don't like this feeling. This is almost as bad as the red and the orange picks. It's got a little too much give still for me. Like I could get through a gig with this, but I probably wouldn't be very happy about it. So that's for chords. When I do leads, it's even worse. Like I'm getting a little bit of that feeling like of uncertainty, which is surprising because I probably played the yellow gauge the longest in my life. So the green is a great step up from the yellow. If you're playing a lot of leads, if you're playing heavier music, like rock stuff or heavy blues or whatever. This, if you gave me to play a rock show, let's say, I'd be totally fine with it. Uh, I think I could get by because it has just enough stiffness to where I feel more confident as I play. I know if I pick a note, it's going to be pretty much there for the next note. There's not going to be very much movement going on with the pick. So I would say the green beats out the yellow, for me at least, between the two, if I had to play a show that involved more of a heavier type of music. You know, there are a lot of electric guitar players that play rhythm most of the time, and they might have to strum chords on the electric and do some light picking. So that's where I think the medium gauge picks for electrics would really uh, come into play. For acoustic guitar, it's kind of the opposite here. So I would go with yellow over the green because yellow would still give you a little bit of that nice snappiness that I was talking about with uh, the flexibility of the pick. So it still sounds pretty good. And because the yellow is thicker than the orange and the red, you're gonna have a difference in tone and it's sort of a more roundness of a tone. There's a little bit more uh, size to it. It's hard to explain, but listen. Versus if I go back to the red pick, see that's a little smaller sounding, but you get that nice attack on the strings. With the yellow pick, you still get somewhat of attack, but you get a bigger sound. So if you're more of a solo acoustic guitar player, you might want to go with a little bit more medium gauge pick. So uh, let's say you're all alone and you're going to just sing with a, a guitar. I would go with a yellow or a green. It's getting pretty heavy now with that green pick. Okay, now we're getting into the territory that I'm in now. This took many, many years to get to this point. And because I say that, don't think, hey, if I jump to the heaviest picks, I'm going to play great. It's not like that. It's almost a weird feel thing. If you start in the middle and build your way up, I think that's a better direction to go than just to jump all the way to the heaviest pick. Because who knows, you might actually prefer a little bit of flexibility in your pick. You just don't know it yet because you haven't played them long enough. So now we have the blue and the purple picks. So this is one millimeter. This is 1.14 millimeter. And it's wild because we used to consider these bass picks. Back when I was younger, I remember somebody laughed at me. There's like, there's no such thing as bass picks. There's just picks, you know? And so we called these bass picks because they always felt the best on the big fat bass strings because they were so heavy, you know? They wouldn't flex and fall out of your hands and stuff. So with this blue pick, I didn't spend a lot of time on blue. It was almost like I just needed it to get to the purple. The blue goes so well after the green pick because uh, you'll start to play and you'll just notice that new feeling of, hey, this barely has any give at all and I feel like I'm really locked into the strings when I play. So if you play rock or metal, like I noticed my downstrokes got a lot faster and uh, it's so microscopic, you know what I mean? Like if you're down picking, I don't wanna feel like the pick is flexing when I do that because I feel like I lose a little bit of momentum when I'm doing that. It's a mental thing, but you also feel it a little bit too. So if I have to play a lot of downstrokes, I love the heavier picks for that. All right, so 
My confidence is coming back because now I feel like I'm connected to the strings in a better way. And then I just thought, okay, if blue is that much better, then green, purple has to be the best, right? And so now I play with purple whenever I play electric guitar. It just feels so great. It's like, it's like confidence is all there. When I pick, I know it's gonna hit the string at that exact moment that I want it to. There isn't gonna be any of that flexibility issue where you feel like you're sort of walking on ice, like, oh, I think I'm on the right string, because whatever you put that pick on, you're playing. It's just so definite to me. That's like a comfortable blanket to me. All right, let's try this with acoustic. You heard this a little bit earlier, but now you're just gonna get a big, round, fat kind of muffled sound. My friend and I used to always do recordings together where he would sing and I would play acoustic. And I was using heavier picks on acoustic. And I remember the recordings always sounded kind of like blah. Man, that acoustic guitar is way too big, you know, because he was trying to sing over it and it almost felt like we were fighting each other. If I just would have went with a orange or a red pick, we would have fit together so much better. But that's how you learn. You gotta make all these mistakes first, or at least I had to. So now, if you are gonna be picking individual notes, like I said earlier, it's great to have a heavier pick. I'd probably go more with the yellow or the green though when it comes to acoustic because it's just too much to use the blue or the uh, purple on an acoustic in my opinion. It's like, dang, that's crazy. All right, let's try the purple pick on the acoustic. So it sounds like I'm attacking the acoustic guitar. There's no finesse to it, really. Sure, I could play lighter, but you still don't really have that nice, sweet, flexible pick sound, and it's just too big. Now, is that always terrible? No, there's always different situations. And uh, I could see a few situations where I'd use a purple pick. Maybe if I was doing like the patient solo or something, if I was like. See, so, yeah, I kind of want that to be a little bit more heavy. In that case, I might use the purple pick on an acoustic guitar. So when I break it all down, when it comes to electric guitar, because I play heavier music a lot of the times, I do a lot of leads that require a lot of fast picking. I go with the heavier picks just because I love the sure feeling I get with that, the confidence of really locking into those strings. And there are even picks that are heavier than these. So we have the Jazz 3 picks, which a lot of people uh, like to play whenever they get into shred guitar. Those are super heavy and they're a little bit smaller too. So it's a really interesting feeling. But when it comes to acoustic, I always go to the lighter end of the spectrum. So if you're playing country music and you're just strumming chords, I would go with, you know, red, orange, or yellow. If you're unsure, I mean, stick with the middle picks for a while and you can go either direction later. That's my best advice for beginners. All right, everyone, hopefully that gives you some insight on pick gauges. Leave me a comment and let me know if you did decide to try different gauges, how it affected your playing and your sound, okay? All right, thanks. We'll see you at the next lesson. Bye.